Hello, hello guys, Kaza here, back with another video. In today's video, we'll be taking out the tier 7 French battleship, the Richelieu, and uh, it's gonna be a match on trap. It's a domination game mode, and I'm in a division with the Tirpitz and the Vanguard. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's jump straight into this match. Alright, so, when we saw there, quickly at the start was um, the uh, team roster there. As we can see, it's 4 destroyers per team, and then 5 battleships team and no cruisers and no carriers for this match aircraft carriers are luckily not included here which is good for us all right so we so uh, me and my two division mates we are split up a bit and um, I am in my uh, middle spawn here on the the south southern part of the map middle spawn and I'm pushing towards these islands or is that surrounding B for extra island cover before we go any further, let's quickly take a look at the commander that we're using on the Richelieu. is uh, Robert Jojard, inspired by Andrew Cunningham and Azalan Charnos. Just a standard accuracy build to make these French guns as accurate as possible. Alright. Yeah, the French uh, French battleships, the Richelieu specifically, features two quad uh, quadruple guns on the front. So eight guns in total, forward facing only. No guns on the rear and uh, mainly the secondary battery faces to the back of the ship. You guys will see the secondaries come into action um, at the la later parts of this match. It should be it should be pretty fun, <laughs> pretty fun running away from something. You guys will see what that will happen then. All right, so here we see the destroyers that are spotted by uh, one of our friendly destroyers. We take a shot there at that Lo Yang. We want to focus the Lo Yang first because it's got very good sonar and um, a very good, uh, very good tier 7 destroyer that's a very dangerous opponent to deal with, so we want to get rid of the Lo Yang first and then we'll focus on the Benzo. Alright, so unfortunately we can't hit the Lo Yang there, it's uh, reversing in behind the island cover so our shells will hit the island. So we take aim then at the Benzo. And uh, yeah, Lo Yang died to the Z35, but the Lo Yang got the Z35 in return as well. Alright, so the Benzo died and the Lo Yang died, GG. So now, um, the destroyer that's on my front right will have an opportunity to um, push forward and go cap uh, Charlie with my two division mates on the uh, Charlie spawn there. Alright, so here on the minimap I see something is capping Bravo. Um, it appears to be a battleship if we look at the minimap. The last in the position of that battleship was pointing into the cap. So we can assume that it's a, a battleship. Um, now we'll just have to wait and see here. And try and plan a sneak attack ambush type of uh, type of maneuver here on whatever battleship that is aha it's in Massachusetts and uh, he is looking straight at us and uh, now we're just gonna reverse a little just a little not too much just so we have more island cover to protect us in case there's a battleship behind the Massachusetts now we do get spotted there which is very unfortunate but uh, if we continue to uh, keep reversing we should drop spot there we drop spot eventually which is very nice. Alright, so now we're looking at the Massachusetts. He was pointing nose in at us and he showed broadside to my teammates, my division mates, and they uh, slapped him. And now he's bowing into them and giving me broadside, which is the power of positioning and putting this Massachusetts in a very bad crossfire. I don't think the Massachusetts was expecting me to be here, to be honest. Um, looked like he was a little startled there. Um, and of course, he beached, showing me a rear part of his ship so we know he's going to die within the next salvo. And uh, yeah, there's not much he can do. Even his uh, buddy behind him is pushing in, probably to do more tree build or give him some fire support. Here we aim a little up to ensure that we kill him. And uh, there we get the kill. Very nice. Alright, now another Massachusetts. The secondaries are starting to open up on us. So uh, yeah, we need to be, uh, to be cautious here. He sets a fire on us, which is unfortunate, but uh, that's not nothing. We can do about that, but we're not going to put the fire out as he's still alive and his second base might set another perma fire, so we're just going to let this one burn. Alright, now we take aim at that Massachusetts. 23,000 Citadel, and we incapacitated something there on the Massachusetts, and uh, somebody managed to finish him off. Very, very nice. Alright, now my two division mates are um, finished, they just finished capping Charlie, and now they're pushing down into Bravo with us. So uh, now that we got that crossfire uh, worked, uh, now that we got that crossfire worked out, and um, it paid off in our advantage. Now we're pushing into Bravo to continue to uh, 
recap the bases and uh, continue to help our team get some points. Alright, so we are up two ships currently at the, the standing of uh, this particular point in the match. We are up two ships. Alright, we do see a Vladivostok there, broadside, take aim, fire, you never know. You might just get a lucky citadel or two, you never know. Alright, so up next will be... Now oh, we got two penetrations, four over pens for the almost 10, 10k of the Vladivostok, that's nice. But we have to be very wary. We are, there's one destroyer that's still unaccounted for, and uh, by looking at the minimap there, we can see the three battleships, last known positions, as we saw there, and uh, we see A is being capped. So if we're paying attention, we can assume that the d destroyer, it's an Akatsuki that's left, is capping A, and uh, we will be, we will mo he will most likely come this way as soon as, uh, as soon as he's finished capping A, which he just happened to do there. All right. Turpets, Karyokolo, Vladivostok, and uh, Akatsuki that we need to worry about. I probably butchered that Italian pronunciation, I do apologize. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see. What can we do here? We've got the base capped. Yes, we did. Assistant in capture. Alright, so. Um, uh, Turpets is pushing into the Bravo cap. Now, we don't want to push out here because we don't have any broadside cover if we push out even if we do try and make a tight angle the turpits will still have our broadside and we get another citadel on that uh, Italian tier 6 battleship there but the turpits will have a broadside on us and just really uh, be paying attention his rear guns are not pointing at us but we can't make the assumption that his front guns are not pointing at us we can't really see but uh, here come the first set of torpedoes from the Akatsuki luckily we're bow in so we don't have to worry too much about that here come the next set of torpedoes. Will this one hit? Uh, no, we should be safe from this one. There's another 10k salvo on that uh, battleship over there. Now the Tippets has torpedoes as well, so there's no reason for us to push push forward aggressively and uh, recklessly throw our ship away here. Um, we'll just let those Tippets be, as my two division mates are working on the Tippets there. And uh, we see the smoke screen from the Akatsuki. That's, the ship uh, is on fire! Just being deployed there, and we saw him firing his guns at us. Luckily, we dropped spot now, so um, we are unspotted, so we don't have to worry about uh, incoming fire. We see the Tirpitz is uh, looks like he accidentally beached, and uh, now we get spotted there by the Vladivostok, so we take aim at him. We see the Tirpitz seems to be starting, move, starting to move again if we observe the minimap closely. And unfortunately the Turpets managed to finish off the uh, the Vanguard there and my other division mate in the Turpets managed to finish off the Italian tier 6 battleship there. Very nice. Alright, so here I was thinking maybe I can push out back, but then I saw the uh, Iowa behind me is blocking my way. So I was like, no, I'm not going to push him into torpedoes and I don't want to risk both of us dying to torpedoes. That would be unnecessary. So here we did start reversing and luckily it paid off for us as we missed the Akatsuki's torpedoes. If we were in our previous position or we pushed a little forward and beach perhaps, we would have been in some big trouble there. But now we're starting to starting to worry. The Turpet is uh, seeming to coming around this island, pushing towards us. And uh, yeah, this is a, a sticky situation. I do not have a spotter plane that I can put up to spot the Turpet's movements and keep him tracked. But um, we do see a Akatsuki that beach there. We see he's starting to reverse and so we lead him to the back of the ship a bit. Those look pretty nice. Yes, very nice. We got our Confederate medal there. Three overpens on an Akatsuki, very nice. And uh, we c now we have to focus on this Turpet and observe the Turpet's movements. You never know. The Turpet might just decide to YOLO us and then he can torpedo me and uh, the uh, Iowa behind me. You never know. You don't want to take any chances with a, a torpedo battle ship on the Turpet. So here I'm deciding to push forward as I assumed that the Turpet would continue his push as we managed to absolutely annihilate that Akatsuki. Very, very nice. Five of pens and that was the end of the Akatsuki. But yeah, now uh, now comes the, the part where I told you that the secondaries might come in handy. As you can probably assume, we're gonna be working our secondaries towards the Turpets. And uh, now that the destroyer is dead, we don't have to worry about the torpedo threat anymore. From, that, uh, from the front side of our ship, the only torpedo threat left is the Turpets. And the Turpets seems to be brawling with the uh, Iowa behind me and uh, yeah here I need to keep a nice angle towards the turpets 
As our secondary and secondary start to open fire, and we use the secondary um, secondary booster consumable to boost our, um, our secondaries to open fire on the uh, the turpets there. But the turpets manages to torpedo the Iowa and uh, manage to get rid of the the Iowa successfully there. That leaves just me, my division mate in the uh, turpets, and we have one friendly destroyer that I believe is still AFK. Uh, yeah, it's very unfortunate if you have a destroyer on your team that's AFK. It's always bad. We get a high caliber medal there but yeah now i need to be very careful i don't really have good firing angles um pointing to the rear the rear firing angles on the richelieu is not uh, not that good or the front to rear firing angles um, as you can see on the mini map i only have one gun on target the other one is still blocked by the uh, the tower and as i push a little to the side there i finally get both uh, both turrets in action and uh, I start turning out again. Oh, he hits my turret and it's incapacitated, so that leaves me with uh, the only option there really just to <laughs> repair. And uh, I will need to be careful on the mini map here. So uh, we're pointing our bow towards the Vladivostok, he's currently behind the island. But um, yeah, yeah, we want to be angled towards the turrets and the Vladivostok without giving either one of them broadside. So uh, we need to be very careful. If the Vladivostok continues to push to the. Uh, the east there, uh, or to the right of the map, and towards our unspotted uh, friendly AFK destroyer, then I'll be in a crossfire if the turpets pushes to the left. So then we get three resets of the turpets, very nice. But uh, yeah, he's continuing to reset me, and um, so I don't think we will successfully manage to cap this base, but I'm resetting him as well, so I don't think he will have the time to, uh, to recapture the Bravo cap there. Um, Turpets got a high caliber against me, very, very well done. Um, Turpets is a really good ship, I enjoy playing the Turpets, and we managed to hit him there just uh, on a very nice angle there. Two two penetrations and five other pens for 13k more or less, that was a very nice hit. Now we need to be very careful. Looking at the minimap, we are pushing around this island now, so the Vladivostok will have shots on us, but we're angled almost, almost perfectly towards him. But if that turpets managed to push further to the left, or his right, my left, then I would have been in a perfect crossfire, because then I would have been uh, forced to angle towards one of the two, and I would have been in, uh, in trouble there. Fire. Now, here I am talking to my division mate, and I'm asking him to finish, please finish off the turpets, and uh, he said he's uh, currently um, currently engaging with the uh, Vladivostok. So here I decide to uh, call out and say that I'm going to uh, try and ram the Vladivostok because the turpet is really low health and um, if I can manage to uh, get this Vladivostok out of the way my division mates can potentially just kill the, uh, the turpets because I don't have a gun on my rear of my ship otherwise I would shoot the turpets. Here I aim for the gun just to incapacitate in case and uh, we ram the Vladivostok to uh, ensure that we take off those, uh, those big guns and the large hit point pool. So that the enemy team only has this low, low, low health turpets left to deal with. And um, now to turpets v turpets fight, and my division mate is a lot healthier than the enemy turpets. So uh, yeah, with that ram, we managed to end off on three kills and 185,000 damage. Very, very nice. So now we just need to uh, watch this play out. Unfortunately, our destroyer is still AFK, and I presume he will be AFK for the whole of the match. So now I just need to uh, now. We just need to observe this final final movements here from both these ships and await for my division mate to kill the turpets. He preemptively launched torpedoes at the corner of the island there, assuming the turpets would continue his uh, his uh, trajectory that he was sailing in. So um, hopefully we can get one torpedo hit there, maybe. Okay, that should have hit by now. I'm guessing that's not going to be a hit. The turpets must have slowed down. And as we can see there, the turpets did slow down and he turned in, so he dodged all of those torpedoes. But all my division mate has to do here is um, just uh, hit him once and he managed to finish him off. And that brings our uh, a match to an end here on Trap Domination Mode. Alright, let's see what we managed to pull off here. Alright, we pulled off 185,000 damage, 3 kills, 2 citadels, a flood from the ram, we got confederate and a high caliber medal there, base xp of 3,454 for a very good match and a division ending 1, 2 and 3 on the team there, very very nice performance from our team there. Hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this video on the Richelieu and uh, showing the power of positioning and... Um, setting up crossfires i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and if you want to see more videos like this please hit that subscribe button 
Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.